good people over at Mountain Dew bringing us this segment called Now Loading. And our buddy Jeremy Duff here is from Gaming Nexus and RogueGaming.com. What's up, buddy? How are you? I'm doing good. Hey, I got to tell you, man, I was over uh, at this gaming center the other day, and me and my son, man, we were tearing up. Do you know the Terminator game? Yep. Uh, you know, like the, where you actually hold the gun, yeah. the arcade game. Man, we must have made it like through like at least 10 to 12 stages. It's amazing. So he made it through 10 to 12 stages. And oh, no, dude, bro, listen, I was right there with him. I was nailing it. I mean, I was at this elite level gaming center. So, I mean, you know, I Wait, was among some other gamers. You mean Chuck E. Cheese? What? Randy, <laughs> shut up. What are you talking about? Whoa, hey. We were at Chuck E. Cheese. I have to tell everybody everything. Okay. I was at an elite gaming center. It was right next to the and car that prints out pictures games. with Chuck E. Cheese. No, Randy. Okay, that's irrelevant. It was still a great game. Remember so, when the mouse came by and threw tickets to everyone? I'm, I'm, talking, to, I'm yeah. talking to Jeremy right now. I don't know if you noticed that. And he was diving for tickets, too, with the kids. <laughs> he was. Well, I wanted to get one of those like Chinese finger cuffs things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, you got a lot of he stuff to talk about He likes to play Mortal Kombat with the kids. He's like, put these finger cuffs on. <sighs> you guys got to ruin everything. <laughs> you know, we want to talk about some games today. I'm sure there's some new releases that are coming out. Remember I had to call you over <laughs> to eat your pizza? Uh. I did. I called him on the phone fifty times. He didn't answer, so I called Jaden because I just kept seeing him put That's so annoying man. tokens we're, in and to- and I'm like, I was "You're pretty sure we were about here. to beat the game." You know? Did you have to go get him out of the tunnels? And no, the I uh, called Jaden and Jaden, my twelve year old, answered the phone. And Loper never answered. I called him like fifty times. And I was Jane's in the like, game. Hey, That's why. What's up? What's up, mom? And I'm like, "You need to come over. The pizza's here." He's like, "Oh, we'll be right there." And then I heard Jeremy go like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, "Bro, we just powered up." <laughs> Anyway, so uh, Gauntlet Slayer edition for uh, PS4 is coming out. Is that out or is that like, that's a new release this week, right? Yep, that's launching today. Oh, it's today. A, it's okay. out already on uh, PC. It's okay. been out for about a year. What's the game about? Um, this is old school 80s Gauntlet. I mean, the classic wizard, Valkyrie, elf, warrior. I mean, four, you know, different classes just going through different uh, levels and tunnels trying to, you know, fighting off a million. Is that kind of like, like Zelda? No, it's the original dungeon crawler from the 80s. Oh, um, gotcha. Okay. And this is kind of like just a newer version of it. It's made more like Diablo. You're, you know, you got loot drops. You can customize your characters. But it came out on PC last year. Wasn't that great. And they went back and completely redid everything. And now they're launching it for PS4. Now so. this game you play? Or you- I played the PC a little bit. It wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't horrible. Um, but it just didn't, as they said, it didn't live up to the standards they were expecting. So... Hopefully, this has a bunch of new modes and everything. Um, I'm hoping it's good. All right, so dropping on PC, PS4, and Xbox One is Toy Soldiers War Chest. This Ooh, is probably also today, yeah. my most excited. I'm more excited for this game than I've been for any of them. Now, what is Toy so. Soldiers, man? This is, imagine, it's kind of like the Toy Story concept. It's what do your toys also, do when like, you're not like there? Like the old school yes. little toys? Yeah. Like the and the army guys. And then what it is is the your toys are going to war while you're not there. I mean, they're launching... All your army figures are fighting your space figures or fighting. Um, they even got one that's like My Little Pony and Barbie Army. Oh, yeah. yeah. I always felt bad, man. Like, if you, if you kept, like, you know, your superheroes, you know, like your Spider Man, Iceman, Thanos, you know, those kind of guys next to, like, G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe's screwed. What's G.I. Joe? You know, what's Roadblock going to do up against Silver Surfer? Nothing. You never know. You're effed, man. Well, see, that's the great thing about this one is uh, it comes in two versions. There's a standard version for, like, 20 bucks. And for 30 you can get a Hall of Fame version that includes licensed toys, including G.I. Joe. Watch out, Kelly. Hall of Fame version. Master- I like the Hall of Fame like version. It. Masters of the Universe. Oh, whoa. Now you're talking yes. about language, man. E-Man. Nice. So that's that's the one reason I'm excited. All right. We got some questions out there. 821-9970. 800-821-9970. Uh, do you know anything about the PC game called Shia? It's like World of Warcraft? Um, I've heard very little about it. Shia! I believe it's a... Free to play MMO. I don't know much about it, honestly. All right. Uh, Will Rocket League come out over Xbox One? I seriously doubt it. Rocket League. The, um, the series has always been on PlayStation. Johnette says she got into a huge argument with her boyfriend last night. Needs an answer. Is there going to be a time that Xbox One will be backwards compatible with 360 games? I thought they, we found that out. Yes, people are they arguing confirmed about? it for November. And it'll confirmed start in November. November. All right, okay. let's, let's take a phone call here. This is Leo in Columbus. Hey, Leo, what's up, man? You want to talk about uh, Mafia 3? Yeah, I've been seeing all kinds of information about it lately. Right, a lot you of know, enthusiasm I, I Leo. Mafia 2 was really cool, and I you know, don't know what's going on with it. 
Well, they just announced it and just dropped the trailer um, at Gamescom last week. So there's not a ton of info out about it yet. Um, they've really just kind of released the first trailer and given you an idea of what it's going to look like. But you can expect it to be a much bigger um, open world than before. Obviously look better because it's on the new era consoles, but it's still very early. They pretty much just made the announcement so far. So we're still waiting on the all the juicy details on it. Oh, my God. Thanks, man. Dude, Toy Toy Soldier's War Chest is sick. You can be He-Man on, Battle Cat. on top of Battle Cat. That is awesome, man. Yep. Or you can be Cobra Commander. You can be Duke from G.I. Joe. Those oh, graphics that's so are ridiculous. Cool, that is badass. All right, we're going to talk about a brand new service. What? I have a question. Yeah, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Travis wanted to know, do you know anything about the PC game called Shia? It's like, wow. Yeah, we just oh, talked yeah, about that's that. that one yeah. we just talked about about 30 seconds yeah. ago. Oh, is that that So one? coming up next, we're going to talk about <laughs> Xbox <laughs> and a brand new service that they feature. It's a brand new DVR Whoa. service for Xbox One. <laughs> but what and, about Shia? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's like, wow. I don't know about Shia, but you're going to be able to record some. Uh, I thought we were talking Shia LaBeouf. My bad. <laughs> Ah. My bad. All right, so here we're going to talk about something that I want to talk about real quick. The new Guitar Hero, Randy, check this out. So the new Guitar Hero, you know how you had to, like, basically play the notes before and uh, you would appease the crowd, sort of, like, right. or appease your other band members, too, and yeah. then, like, when you would fail, but like, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> well, this is a first-person visual, right? That's how you yes. explain it, first-person? And, and you're on stage, and you're actually playing... And if you suck, you see the face of the audience oh, watching you suck. Nice. <laughs> so you you are like in the game. Is that a fair it's depiction? So confused. It's almost as if like the camera's like, on you. It's like a point of view type game. Like you're on stage looking out at the crowd. You're looking at your other band members. That is right. cool, Rick. It's like when you're on Pornhub and the chick. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and depending on how you do, they react. So you can see the crowd sitting there screaming at you. Maybe even throwing stuff at you. That's what happens when they cast sex. Bro, I would jump in the crowd if somebody <laughs> throws something at me. I hope they had that mode on there. So I'm like, bro, what are you doing? At him? Yeah. Hit him with the guitar real quick. Yeah, that's... So trick. when does that drop? Uh, remember that? that remember Kirk Cobain did that? What's that? I don't remember the exact date for Guitar Hero. It's this fall. It might be October. I know Rock Band is October 6th. Uh, oh, so okay. It, it that's should be close, right, man. It's right around there. Bro, yeah, let's have a rock band off. party in my house. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Rick, let's put the band back together. Is this separate from what you were just talking about? Because you said Guitar Hero. Yeah, Guitar yes. Hero, but rock band's coming Two up. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I just, I didn't want to How similar it. are they going to be? Um, I like I like Guitar Hero better. I don't want to have all the instruments. I do. Because <laughs> we start a band. It, it depends on who. No, you know, if, if you've got a group playing, I think the band is funner. I mean, because you can get more people yeah, involved. we got a bunch of kids. And you like... Playing uh, drums, don't you, Loper? N- bro, I'm a singer, man. Oh, what are you talking excuse about, me. Oh, I'm out sorry. Front this no, guy. I'm sorry. Over You're here definitely. trying to put me behind the drums. Like, who am I, Phil Collins and Genesis? Dude, I'm telling you, you ought to get Rocksmith. Yeah, have you played that, Jeremy? I haven't played it, but I have a friend who did. Man. And it's pretty impressive. You will learn to play guitar, yes, for real. I mean, it's, it's Guitar Hero, but game. with a real guitar, and you got to play the songs, like, for real. Yeah. That's bad. I mean, I like it. So, But what about, like, bass? Is bass a throwaway on Rock Band? Not really. Um, it's it, the, they do pretty good. I mean, they keep it pretty. In, the bass tracks pretty interesting. Okay, so they keep them all pretty interesting. It's like well, what said, do you hear? What's going to be better, rock band or Guitar Hero? It re- I think it depends on what you like. I mean, if you're by yourself and you know you don't have a lot of people you play with, I think Guitar Hero is your better choice. Yeah, it's just you. But if you've got loner. friends yeah. and. I, rock band is without a doubt. The I way love to go. rock band. I always play the drums, and I am banned from playing it from with my family anymore because Why? I threw the sticks once. I was oh. so <laughs> aggravated. Well, <laughs> man, uh, love it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I think all right. So there you go. Right, Randy. So Kelly's not allowed to come over. And play no, she's heavily in my band. I was in my band. Kelly came over awesome. during practice, like, yeah. roughing up my joint. You know what I mean? <laughs> what? So Randy can <laughs> play guitar. <laughs> Kelly can play drums. I'll play bass, and Loper can sing. We're, no, we're I'd rather switch. I'd be the oh, singer. I thought you liked playing guitar. You I do, but I'm a better singer hero. than a guitar player. It's gonna be like Fleetwood Mac, where we both sing. Yeah, you know, we both really can't sing. Well, like Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks, you sleep together and you sing. Right, right. Randy does huge bowls of cocaine, like Stevie Nicks. You know what I mean? Do not. Cereal bowl style, just like <laughs> just dump another eight ball. Like in Captain there, Crunch, maybe in my bowl. But. Yeah, come on, make one more, brother. All right, um, <laughs> what do- time? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mick Fleetwood, Randy. Come on, uh, Mike is in London. Good morning. How you doing? Hello, in London town, sir. All right, I, I was just wondering if you could tell me if there's any truth that uh, there's going to be an NCAA 16. And I just want to say good morning to Love and Randy. I love you guys. Love Woo! the show. Thank you. Oh, yes, you love ju- you. Love you. Lot. And you just want a T-shirt. Look want at that. A t-shirt, wow, being look so at this awesome. guy. All right, man, go ahead and answer this dude's question. 
The no, you will not see another NCAA game. Would like quite you to say yes time. because he was. I think kind of I know we that. were like liked him. <laughs> uh, so that's not going to happen, huh? No, because there, there's still a big lawsuit going on um, between the NCAA and EA Sports and everything. Really? So we're not even going to get a game this year. Well, what they're looking to do, hope there's a rumor that they're going to start incorporating some of the college teams into the pro games. What? So uh, so I could be like the Bears playing the Vols? Well, not necessarily oh. that, but like when you do the career modes, you can start at a collegiate level and work your way up. That's the closest thing I think you're going to see for a while. Wow, that's really interesting. So what are they going to do with the play? Uh, hang on one second, man. We'll get you that shirt, and uh, hopefully your question was answered. Um, what are they going to do with the actual player aspect of it? Because you can't have well, players exactly featured it. in collegiate. It's got to be generic. I mean, they're all going to be – that's pr- pretty much what you'll – if they incorporate it, you can expect to be like your own custom character that oh, you'll start at a collegiate sucks. level. Yeah, out. when you play Madden and you play on the you know in a, in a league, you can draft college players and you build them up. You build their stats by you know by playing with them, but they they come as names you've never heard of. Just pay these guys and let's play the real people. Man. Well, I mean, I think you should you should do that and and pay them all an equal amount, no matter whether they're starters, yeah. whatever grade they're in, but just make a deal with... I even say pros EA. And, and collegiate players alike. Well, pros pay do. Pay them the same. Pros do. Pay them the same. Pay them the same. Right. If the same amount of money? If they're all going to be in the same game, why not? Oh, you Let's mean have fun with it, for what yeah. they get paid for mad? Yeah, man. Yeah, okay, that's, that's what, yeah, that's see, what I me, mean. that yes. doesn't break NCAA rules, because you know, what that, you know what that tells me? Is you were a standout player, good enough that you were invited, by chance... To be in a video game. Well, that's not guaranteed money. That's something if you are an elite level at, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, they need to bend a little bit on certain when, rules. Well, when I say pay them all, I mean all of them, whether their names, whether they're a starter, whether you're using them in a game, if, if you don't use their team, if their name is, if they're a player, their name's in the game, you know, because they all get a, a monthly allowance anyway. So whatever they make off the game, just raise that allowance. Then they won't have to worry about getting jobs. And me they won't too. have to worry about, when, when you we know. get paid, Randy gives me one of those. There too, you yeah. go. Here's mm-hmm. your allowance. <laughs> yep. That does work. Don't blow it on Chuck E. Cheese games. Then she takes it back and goes to the casino. Yeah, exactly. I That's know. exactly like, what happened. I have to get one of those back. Hey, Derek. <laughs> how you doing, man? Pretty good. How are you? Awesome, man. What's your question? Um, I was wondering if you know um, the uh, Gears of War remastered and the Gears of War 4 that they've announced. Um, do you know if there's going to be any new, um, any new game modes or any new and improved game modes on those? Um, with remastered, there is not. Uh, remastered is pretty much just going to be the entire first game looking a lot better. They're not adding any new modes or anything, but it'll have all the same online and everything. As for Gears of War 4, they're still being very um, stingy with the details. All we know is holiday 2016, and we've seen a nice uh, gameplay trailer showing it off, and it looks fantastic. But they haven't really spoken too much about the details of what all they're going to be adding to it. Okay, so uh, pretty much it's just the uh, remaster is going to be the same as the older one just looks better and Gears of War 4 will just have to wait for more info. That's correct. All right, man. All thanks right, for man. the phone call. Thank you. All right. Talk to you soon. Now, uh, we we did have a question about uh, a classic game, man. What about Grand Theft Auto? Is that coming back? I think we got a while before yeah. we see another GTA. Um, that company, honestly, I'm expecting them to revisit one of their other titles before we see a Grand Theft what Auto What else did they make? Uh, Was that Rockstar? Yes, Rockstar. They have a game called Red Dead Redemption. Which is basically Grand Theft Auto in the Wild West. Huh. It's fantastic, and everybody's praying for a sequel to be it's announced. Like Deadwood. So, oh yeah, it's great. It I love it a whole lot more than Grand Theft Auto. All right, we got. Uh, is that one more phone call? Are we good? We got one more guy. We have a text said. Uh, right. What do you think of Eve Online? Uh, I'm not a fan. Yeah. But uh, one of the other guys on the website is a huge fan. He's been playing it for years. Um, I mean, it's got some pretty big followers, but just not my style of game, personally. All right, last question here. We got uh, Charles standing by in Columbus. What's up, Charles? Charles, yes. bring us home here, man. You're the last guy. Go ahead. All right, I just had a question. Uh, this is about a guy in that's already now called Oni Chambara Z2. Has Jeremy heard anything about it? Um, we, have, we reviewed it. Um, again, kind of a niche title. Um, it's got its fans and pretty much... It's not as popular as it probably should be. Um, I haven't played it personally, but our reviewer, Matt, he loved it. He thinks it's a great series. What was um, the title? It's Onichibaro. It's it, very Japanese-style mm-hmm. game, well, obviously by the title. <laughs> Onichibaro. Uh, you know, the, it's, again, they have their following, and they have their dedicated fans, and 
uh, everything I've heard is if you're a fan of the series, you're going to love it. All right, there you go. Jeremy Duff from Gaming Nexus and RogueGaming.com. Play his music, Thick Rick. Come on, man. L- let's just do this. It's brought to you by Mountain Dew each week. Good to see you, bro. Thank you. You guys should check this segment out on our podcast, too. Games, 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 games I do adore.